All right, here we go with the next match on the card, guys. Travis O'Keith coming out against David Houston. This is the the one championship series matchup that's on the card tonight for TPW. We all, as we all know, Dan has eight points with the victory over Rick Rocky. <clears throat> Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to let Travis do his trademark counting with Travis as this crowd is actually booing him tonight. But I know somebody, ZK, who's enjoying it, showing off the eight pack. And then I might as well wait because we all know who's going to interrupt me anyway. Any minute now. Oh, is she not just doing her job tonight? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, the why is The following contest oh, is goes. scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Fort Wayne, Indiana, weighing in at 205 pounds, Travis O'Keefe. But as I was saying, you know Dan has eight points. Shoji Kawakami also has eight points. So Travis O'Keefe will look to get on the board. He can hit him with the front face lock DDT and get a quick eight points. Or he can lock in the sharpshooter and possibly get ten points. And he would actually lead. But we know David Houston is no slouch. Took the current TPW World Heavyweight Champion Ricky Starr to the limit a couple of, well, that was like a year ago, actually. And his opponent has a couple of big victories from Memphis, this belt. Tennessee, yes, weighing uh, in at 195 pounds, David Hudson. She still can't say his name right. I, I think, I don't know, the Fiend did something to her. But David Houston coming out to a huge ovation, a huge fan favorite. Of course, everybody loves his beautiful high-flying maneuvers. A lot of people consider him the best high flyer on the roster. I personally pick Tony Storm. But David Houston, I could say him well in, in my opinion. David David Houston's a you know, just still got Marcio Pratt. Austin Wilcox. Reese. Rick Rocky. Oh, David, I don't know, David's up there. David might be number three. It might be a close, a, cl a close second. I might, have, I might have to put him third. But here we go, referee ringing the bell. Oh, and Travis O'Keefe. Saying he still needs a second. Probably trying to think of a game. All right, here we go, Travis O'Keefe back in the ring, locking up. Oh, and now overpowering David Houston now in the corner. Uh, David Houston. A referee getting a clean break, but a cheap shot from Travis. And the referee trying to separate him, and there's a single leg drop kick right to the throat, it looks like. As David Houston took kind of took some offense to that shot. And he's in control on a cross leg monkey flip. And he takes control in this matchup, and Travis O'Keefe might have made a mistake with that cheap shot on a beautiful hurricane runner from Houston. I was so keep landing kind of awkward on that. He's still getting up to his feet. It's a Gurry from Houston. Right to the jaw. Leg is hooked. Only for a two count as Travis O'Keefe kicks out. Well, he tried to get up quick. You can tell he's frustrated, but David Houston. Oh, missed that right hand. Oh, but got out of that and got a nice arm breaker on Travis. The referee warning David Houston about sitting on the turnbuckle. Does it stay there for long with the diving uppercut? On the oh, and a beautiful standing moonsault. David Houston coming out on fire and still only got a two count after that. David Houston has been hungry for an opportunity like this. He doesn't want to let it slip away, but. Ooh, I've yet to mention Travis O'Keefe does have the veteran advantage over him. He's been wrestling for just a little over a decade now, 11 years. Of course, a former three-time tag team champion in PCW. 
with Marcus Rage as a singles competitor. Nothing yet, but if he keeps doing moves like this, I think it won't be long. Beautiful backbreaker stretch. Bending David right over the knee. Nice kick to the, he caught him in the hip, honestly. Oh, beautiful knee drop right to the head and Travis look, he can get nasty. But one of the best technical wrestlers you'll ever see. Very good at opponent and keeping the pace slowed down. One of the, I call him the pacemaker. If, however, he, if, if he can go with the best of them. If you want to speed it up, he can catch it off guard. If I would have kept Super Flight Night going, he was on pace to become a Cruiserweight Champion. On, on, honestly, and ZK can admit to that. He was on pace to become a Cruiserweight Champion. I think he would have beaten Ramirez for it. And of course, he's taking guys like Brian, Brian Trowell to the limit in a, in a great matchup in the FGW. As, as you see right now, David Houston is being grounded. He has had no momentum like the past three minutes after that beautiful snap nap break I think it's over now. <laughs> David Houston just gets his shoulder up that was a beautiful snap net breaker and right back to the tin lock you hear this crowd booing of course this is not something that'll be fun to watch especially if you got David Houston in the ring but Travis O'Keefe does not care oh wait a minute David Houston Trying to get up to his, oh, he gets up to a vertical base. Beautiful elbows right to the midsection. Oh, the form! Out of nowhere, a knockout shot. Two! Oh my God, David Houston just kicked out. Travis O'Keefe doing a wonderful job of nullifying the speed and quickness of David Houston as he's also trying to show off to the crowd and he's a beautiful camel clutch look at how low he is seated on the lower back of David Houston just trying to wear him down and keep him grounded you don't want to let David Houston start building momentum you don't want to let him start flying everywhere because he is good at adapting as he just slips out of that camel clutch oh oh was going for a drop kick and Travis caught him. Beautiful stomp right to the gut. Oh, let's see. Oh my God! Backbreaker right over the knee. Cover on Houston. That could do it. And he powers out again at two. And Travis O'Keefe not showing any frustration. Going right back on the offense and going for that camel clutch again. Or oh, like he's seated just a tad bit lower. Oh my God! Just. Look at how perfectly places. Oh, it was placed perfectly under his chin, but David Houston crawling now. You see Travis O'Keefe not trying to let him slip away again like he did. But David Houston can now crawl. He's seen it back on it again, pulling back even harder. Trapping that arm again. Oh, and he's, oh wait a minute. David fighting, trying to crawl again, and he does. Trying to pull to that bottom rope, he can, to, 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 he can break the hold if he can get to the rope. Oh, he's close. Just reach a little bit. Travis trying to throw it, he reached it. Travis had no choice but to break the hold. But you know the saying, the damage has probably already been done. It's Travis showing that he knows the tricks to keep high flyers down. He's faced the, the best of them, Kofi Banks. TC, Tony Storm, you name him, he's fought him. What is this? Oh, and a back body drop from the top rope. Oh, and you can see Houston is in pain. Goes for the cover, that's it. Oh my God, how is he kicking out? How in the world is Houston still kicking out? He's still fighting. David Houston not giving in, but Travis O'Keefe still has an answer for something David Houston has in a beautiful, stiff suplex. Travis O'Keefe taking a moment to pose for the crowd. I mean, he does have a beautiful figure. But so far, he's been putting on a beautiful offensive clinic on David Houston. 
who hasn't had an answer for anything. Oh, until now, beautiful backflip out of that, and a beautiful heel kick. Oh, and Jarvis O'Keefe is leaking. That could be the match right there. He's going to knock them out. Travis at the last second getting his shoulder off the mat. Travis O'Keefe leaking. Oh, knife hits chop right to the chest. Travis O'Keefe, I think he's finally realizing that he's leaking. Because David Houston has now has Travis O'Keefe rocking. And now tossing him out the ring. Damn, he threw him out the ring. David Houston looking to take flight. This crowd is right. David Houston up on the top rope. Bars, by the way. David Houston finally building some momentum. And as Travis O'Keefe reeling, I think he's one big shot away from putting Travis O'Keefe down and possibly picking up eight points. What's he looking for here? Beautiful springboard clothesline. Hooks the leg on Travis O'Keefe to pick up eight points. And Travis at the last second again getting his shoulder off the mat. David thought it was it. But now he's looking to put him away. Tornado ends it. Girl misses wildly. Oh, and Travis has him hooked. Front face for DDT. Leg is hooked in the center of the ring. The match is won. And that's eight points for Travis O'Keefe. David Houston almost pulled off the, oh, one of the greatest comebacks in a match I've ever seen. And he missed with his biggest shot. Missed wildly. And like an alligator, Travis snatched on him and he didn't let go. Dropped him right on his face and picked up eight points. And he's tied now with Shoji and Dan Baker in this World Championship Series on the TPW brand. David Houston just comes up short. Look at this beautiful spinning heel kick. Oh, he might have opened him up bad on that. That looked like it hurt. Look was hooked good at everything. Oh my god. Half second away. And that beautiful. That was kind of stiff too for a springboard. God. That's because he came down hard. Let's see how close this one was too. Oh man. He barely got it up too. winner, Travis. Yeah, you hear it, folks. He picks up eight points. But, guys, stay tuned. Up next, it's our last debut of the night and the main event of the evening. Stay tuned, guys.